know I look ridiculous. Don't make fun of me. I literally just got done making the DJI goggles latency test video. And I hadn't really flown with these goggles yet. I had just done like a pass around the front yard just seeing how they work. And uh, so I got them charged up. I went out and flew a battery. And I was so blown away by the range I got that I wanted to go ahead and make my range test video. So I've got my HD3s. I went ahead and put the Pagoda on that's on these goggles in case that's part of the magic. And it's also got a left-handed patch antenna on there as well. So I'm going to set this outside kind of on a tripod situation <laughs> facing toward the direction I'm going to fly. I'm going to have these goggles on my head facing in the same direction and uh, I want to compare the two. On my first full battery in these, like I wasn't even expecting it and uh, the video was absolutely crystal clear. So I want to see how the two of these compare. The DJI goggles, obviously from the latency test we did, they've got an extra 20 milliseconds to process it. But from what I just experienced, that 20 milliseconds is well spent because it was beautiful. So it's also like 15, 20 degrees today. Battery performance uh, is a little lacking right now in the cold weather too. So we'll give it our best shot and uh, see how far away we can get. <laughs> Let's see how it do. Here's my HD3s and uh, here's my ground station like tripod get up. I'm just gonna set these up here. See the patch and the pagoda are just nothing but sky. That's the way I'm gonna fly. We'll see how the two compare. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> So after seeing the footage, I'm editing it right now. Gonna have to do some more testing. The Fat Sharks with the Trudy actually looked great. So I'm not certain, you know, there's a chance that it's just some sort of magic voodoo inside of the DJI uh, Pagoda antenna, or maybe the snow on the ground. But uh, both the DVR from the Fat Sharks and the DVR from the DJI goggles was superb. Um, the DJI DVR that you guys saw was pretty well representative of what I saw on my goggles. The Fat Shark feed though looked a lot better than what I feel like I typically see in my Fat Shark 
goggles. So just my opinion, hopefully it's helpful to you guys. But I am gonna have to revisit this range thing and testing. I definitely wanna test it in a race scenario with several quads, see how well it does with interference and that kind of thing and all that. So do me a favor and check back for updates. If you're interested in any of these products, I've got a link to the best price on these I found on Amazon. Feel free to buy them there. I, I'm not exactly sold on this being my everyday racing set of goggles, but I will say that if you have a DJI drone and you need a ride along pair of goggles, this is it. There's no other goggle on earth you should buy as a ride along rather than this. The image is stellar. And obviously if you're just riding along, the latency doesn't matter at all. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and let me know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you next time on Heart of America FPV.